Hi everyone and thanks so much for tuning in to the Yoga by Candice YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing a vinyasa flow. I feel like it's been a really long time since we've done vinyasa, so today is the day. When you are ready, have a seat on your mat and let's get started. Okay, so when you are ready, roll your shoulders back, turn your palms to face up, go ahead and close your eyes and just take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth, just letting go of anything you're dealing with right now that's holding you back, anything that's kind of stressing you out, anything that's been on your mind. Just see if you can let that fizzle out into the background so that you can arrive in the present moment and just be here completely, not worrying about anything that happened earlier or, or anything that needs to happen later. Just being right here in this moment. Nowhere else to go, nothing to do, just here. A couple deep breaths right here. As you connect with your breath, notice that as you inhale, you grow taller. As you exhale, you relax your shoulders away from your ears. You feel yourself more firmly rooted into the mat. And finding a sense of gratitude for your health and your well being. Saying a silent thank you for your health and your commitment to yourself to continue with your practice. When you're ready, quietly open up your eyes. We're gonna begin by linking breath with movement. So as you inhale, open up the arms. And as you exhale, bring the arms out in front of you. And then continue just like this. You can pause anywhere you need to. Feel free to close your eyes if you wanna go inward. Now open up on the inhale, exhale, and close. Moving just like this, forward and backward. You might even want to like really arch the back on the inhale, really round the back on the exhale. So for those of you who don't know, vinyasa means that you are moving constantly. So there won't really be many static holds. If you're looking for a really relaxing yoga flow, this is not the one to do. Last one here, inhale, open up and exhale, round. Interlace the fingers. Move the arms up and down. And seeing what's going on through the upper back. And then when you're ready, open up until you're at a neutral spine. Bringing the right arm up and overhead, you're gonna reach all the way over and then flow through the front. And do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, reach up and over, and then lower the fingers down to the ground. Slide them out in front of you as you come over to the other side. Lift up, reach all the way over, breathe space in between the ribs, and then lower the fingers down. Same thing, other side. Reach up and over, lower down, slide the fingers. From here, you're gonna turn and come into child's pose with the toes curled. So you really wanna feel your big toes, second toes, third toes, fourth toes, fifth toes, pressed into the ground. And this is gonna give you a good stretch to the bottoms of the feet. So you're reaching your hips back towards your heels, reaching your arms out in front of you, maybe pressing down into the palms of the hands, maybe the forearms as well. Maybe even kind of going side to side here to get a good openness through your armpits, through the chest area. And then when you're ready, you're gonna round forward, lowering your belly down onto the ground. And coming into Sphinx Pose. So for Sphinx Pose, we have the elbows underneath the shoulders and you're kind of using traction to pull yourself forward. Looking out in front of you, long spine, collarbones nice and broad, and then melt the chest down to the ground. Hands come underneath shoulders, curl the toes, lift the knees. Press back, downward facing dog, first one of the day. So make any movements you need to, pedal out your feet, shake your head, wiggle your butt. And then we will all come into stillness when you're ready. A couple deep breaths here. Scanning through your body to see what's going on through the backs of the legs, what's going on through the back and the chest and the shoulders, just becoming really aware of what your body needs and making a mental note of that. Inhale, lift the right leg high, spread the toes. 
And then when you're ready, bring the knee in towards the chest, round the back, shoulders over wrists, and lower the right foot down to the ground. Rise up for warrior one. So hips are facing forward, right knee is bent, about 90 degrees or larger. Hands are gonna come back behind you, interlace the fingers, press the palms together, reach the heart out in front of you, take your gaze up about 45 degrees and then bring the upper body down and lift the arms up overhead. So you have two opposing lines of energy. The head is reaching down towards the ground, but the arms are lifting up towards the sky. From here, you're gonna gently release the hands, bringing the fingers down to either side of the front foot. Spider the fingers forward as you come forward and lift the back leg up. From here, open up the hip. You're gonna reach the left arm up for half moon pose. Option to take sugar cane by bending the leg, grabbing hold of the foot. If you fall, who cares? Look down, or if you want more of a challenge, you can look up to the sky. From here, we're gonna gently release and drop back to warrior two and flow back and forth. Bring the left fingertips to the left thigh, right arm up and overhead. And then the right forearm to the right leg, left arm out in front. So flowing back and forth just like this. And then windmill the arms down, step back for chaturanga. Use your toes to come forward and then come down halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog for three deep breaths. Inhale, if your left leg high, spread the toes. Bring the knee in towards the chest as you round the back, shoulders over wrists, and then slowly lower the foot down towards the ground, rising up for warrior one on the other side. So hips facing forward, and if you have trouble with that, if you feel like your hips are opening up, just heel toe your left foot out to the left a little bit. Interlace your fingers the way that feels a little weird behind your back. Press the palms together. Take your gaze up about 45 degree, degrees, a nice arch in the back, and then come forward, head comes down. Lift the arms up, two opposing lines of energy, breathe. And then gently release, bringing the fingers down to either side of the front foot. Spider the fingers forward, use back body strength to lift your back leg. Open up the hip for half moon. Lift the right arm. Gaze is down, or you can take it up to the sky. Option to take sugar cane pose by bending the leg and grabbing hold of the foot. From here, we'll gently release and drop back to warrior two and flow back and forth. So moving at your own pace, pausing anywhere you need to. Milling the arms down to the ground and stepping back for chaturanga. Up dog and down dog. Inhale, rise onto your toes, bend your knees. Look between the thumbs, step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, sink low, Utkatasana chair pose. Squeeze the legs together, feet and knees are together. Try not to arch the back, sit a little lower. Squeeze the legs even more. Bring the hands in prayer position. Float the hands all the way down through the midline, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And then exhale. Plant the hands, step or hop back for chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing.
Inhale, lift your right leg high, spread your right toes. Slowly step the right foot to the front of the mat. Rise up for high lunge. Take goddess arms, so arms about 90 degrees. Arch through the back, reach through your chest. There shouldn't be any pinching sensation in your low back. Take the gaze up about 45 degrees, reach even more forward with the chest. And then bring the fingertips down to the ground. Rise up for standing split. Who cares how high the split is or how long and straight it is? Just do your best. And then slowly step back, high lunge once again. Lift the arms straight up. Then hands to the heart, we're gonna twist over to the right. So hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Come back to center. And then lower down. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high, spread the left toes. Step the left foot to the front of the mat. Rise up, high lunge, taking goddess arms. Arch the back, reach the heart forward. No pinching sensation in your low back. If you find a pinch, pinching sensation, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that, you're just gonna back off from that back bend. Take the fingertips down to the ground, rise up, standing split. Lowering down, lift the arms straight up, acknowledge the pose, bring the hands to heart center, I'm going to take it into a twist to the left. Inhale, come back to center, lower down, move through your vinyasa and we'll all meet in downward dog. Inhale onto your toes, bend your knees, look between your thumbs, hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, sink your hips, squeeze your legs together, Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, come to stand. Inhale onto the toes. Find one place to look in front of you that's not moving and slowly lower all the way down to a seated position as we come into Navasana, boat pose. A couple options with boat pose. You can have your toes on the ground if you don't have a ton of energy today. You can bring your legs up so the shins are parallel with the ground or you could extend the legs. Wherever you are, you want to have your chest nice and broad, chest lifted, not rounding through the back. Nice and lifted here, feet together, toes spread wherever you are, fingers alive and awakened, arms long and strong, holding here. And then bring the hands out in front of you, hands pressed together. Inhale, come to the right, exhale to the left. To the right, to the left, to the right, and to the left. Come to center, palms facing up, reach up, and then slowly lower down. From here, you're gonna bend the left leg, bring the right hand back behind you, and come into a brief wild thing. So what I like to do is like sweep the arm forward and then lift up through the heart, and reach back with the left arm. Lower down and sweep the left arm out in front of you, followed by the right arm as you take it over to the other side. So, right leg is bent and you're sweeping back with the right hand, lifting up, coming through the heart and reaching back with the right arm. From here, gently release, sit nice and tall and we will come into cobbler's pose. So for cobbler's pose, the bottoms of the feet are touching. 
We're gonna peel the feet open like a book and then reach your heart forward. As we begin to slow it down, your breathing will slow down. Inhale, rise up. Bring the hands underneath the knees. Knees come together. Wrap your arms around the shins, lower the head. And then slowly lower all the way down for a Shavasana. extend your legs. Feet about mat distance. Arms um, are probably off the mat. Palms facing up. Go ahead and close your eyes. I'm going to be here for about five minutes, allowing the body to absorb all the good things you just did.
Begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. And slowly make your way over onto your right side. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale and press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart, go ahead and close your eyes. Just taking a moment to acknowledge your practice. And when you're ready, sailing it in, namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps content creators like myself to be seen um, with searches. When people are searching for different yoga videos, mine will come up if we get some, some engagement. So I love when you give it a thumbs up or even a thumbs down, that helps too. <laughs> um, what else do I wanna say? If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. I will do my best to be in touch. And if you're interested, my book Namaste is available on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble, and most major bookstores everywhere. A couple other things to say, we are always doing retreats, workshops, and now we are doing yoga teacher training. So head over to yogabycanis.com to learn all about it. I will see you soon here on the YBC YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in.